Welcome back to the Sports Call. We continue right here. Bob Pompiani, Chris Muller. So, Sidney Crosby skated on the first line today. He also skated on the first power play. To me, that means he's ready to go. Do you think he will go tomorrow, uh, Chris? And, you know, what do you expect from him in the early going coming back from a wrist injury that, of course, if you're a hockey player, <laughs> wrist is a very important part of what you do. Yeah, my gut feeling is that, yeah, he will go. I think them coming off a, a loss where they got beat pretty convincingly is one of those ways you can get him back in and say, okay, hey, it's time. We finally dropped one in regulation. Let's go. He's ready to roll. Um, I, I'll tell you what. I actually would think that, that there's cause to believe, even though human nature is, oh, our best player's back, one of the best of all time is back, we can take our foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Like, that's the thing you have to fight against. Just the style that he plays makes me think it's more likely that they don't really lose this nice little identity they've had for these first several games where they've been forechecking, they've been a menace in that way, they've been putting constant pressure on teams. I would hope, you know, best case scenario here, that this looks like, much like the team we've seen early on, it just happens to add Sidney Crosby back into the mix. I'm hoping that his general style of play uh, can kind of mesh seamlessly with what they've been doing so well th thus far. Well, they're playing 200 feet of hockey. That's what he does. He's one of the best at it, so you're right. That should not change. The only thing that's going to change is the lineup and the configurations a little bit because they've had some guys playing pretty well, but at some point you make way for Sidney Crosby. Speaking of Canadians, I noticed tonight that Ken Birch, do you remember Ken Birch, by the way? Um, at oh, yeah. Pitt? Remember when Steven Adams and Ken Birch and all these big-time uh, players and he had issues there, and that ended up not working. But he was on the floor tonight at a game against the Pacers, and there were five Canadian players on the floor at first time in NBA history. That was pretty interesting. Uh, you're, now you're just bringing me back down the road of Jamie Dixon getting some of these five-star guys and, and being completely clueless, specifically in the case of Steven Adams, as to how to use it. Ken Birch was probably never going to be happy at Pitt. But now all you're doing now is bumming me out, Bob. Sorry. I mean, really. Well, I'll switch I mean, I I'll, just I'll remember watching. No, I just remember watching Steven Adams be seven feet tall and clearly the best athlete on the floor, and Pitt decided the thing that he was probably going to be best at was setting picks for guards right. that were going to be playing in Turkey in a year. He should have been playing every minute of every game immediately when he was here. Uh, and you see what he's developed into, a $100 million player in the NBA, uh, and a pretty good guy uh, just physically – I mean, he's really turned into quite a physical specimen. He's a monster. But the, what I want to end with is that uh, last night you were talking about Kenny Pickett's hand size for whatever reason, uh, because, you know, some of these NFL scouts will measure everything. Andrew said he had a 10-inch wingspan on his hand, essentially 10-inch, whereas Kenny Pickett's not that big. So I measured mine. I went home and I measured mine. I don't know what yours are, but I, I did mine and it came out to 8 and 7 eighths, almost 9. So what's yours? I don't know. I guess you're supposed to go tip of the middle finger, right, down to, like, the palm crease yeah. right here. I don't know. I'm probably, like, eight and a quarter, eight and a third. Ten-inch hands from Filipponi. Ten-inch wingspan. Ten he's six-foot two, and he's – Bob, he's six-two, and he's left-handed. Why is he not in the NFL then, huh? <laughs> That's what I told him. I mean, him. I've seen him throw, throw a football, football in the studio. I guess that. I could – <laughs> yeah, I've seen him throw a football in the studio. I guess I could answer my own question here, actually, as to why he's not in the NFL. He also, he'd suffer a back injury in his first <laughs> series and be stretchered off the field. Well, he chose the right profession, that's for sure. We're out of time, Chris. Thank you. The music means we're done. Thank you for joining us. We'll do it again tomorrow night. Pony will be here. We'll talk to you. Thank you for joining us every night right here on the Nightly Sports Call. Have a good night.